You all must have wondered how to exploit devices outside your local network, the answer is port forwarding or tunneling. We can do it with or without router. Without router, ngrock is the best option. Ok, let's head to ngrock.com. Log in with Google or GitHub, or create a free account. It is available for many distros, both in 32 and 64 bit flavors. After downloading Unzip It, you will get NGROC executable. Now either run it directly or using Auth Token. The advantage of using Auth Token is that it will give us more features and all open tunnels will be listed in a separate dashboard. Move NGROC to USR bin, so that we can run it directly with NGROC command. Now what NGROC does is that it exposes local networked services behind NATs and firewalls to the public internet using secure tunnels. Some of the services provided by NGROC are free while some of these are only for paid subscription. The free services are HTTP and TCP tunnels. First start Apache server and then we will expose it to internet. Just tell NGROC what port your web server is listening on. We can view the Apache server default page, just type loopback address or local host in the browser. People on the same network can access it using your local IP address. For people outside your local network, you need port forwarding or tunneling. So, let's talk about NGROC. It provides enough free services for us to host phishing pages, payloads, and we can even expose a Postgres server listening on the default port. Yes, you heard it right, that means we can get a Metasploit session outside our local network. The free features are HTTP TCP tunnels, one online NGROC process, four tunnels per NGROC process and 40 connections per minute. Type ngrock http followed by port, this command opens an http tunnel on the specified port. The default region is US, the command created two public URLs HTTP and HTTPS, open the link and we can see that the Apache server is successfully exposed to the internet. The UI in terminal shows other status and metrics information about connections made over your tunnel, it also provides web interface which displays the details of the request and response including the time, duration, headers, query parameters and request payload as well as the raw bytes on the wire. You can also enable authentication on the server by auth switch. It is a useful feature if you want to restrict access to the server for only those who know the credentials. We can disable inspection of requests, by inspect switch. We have to pass false argument to it. One more interesting feature of NGROC is that we can choose whether we want secure or insecure connection. Pass true argument to bind TLS switch for secure connection and false argument for insecure connection. We can change region by region switch by passing region code argument to region switch. The available regions are US, Europe, Australia and Asia Pacific. 
using regents which we can open four tunnels in different regions. We cannot open more than one tunnels in the same region under free subscription. The regions which comes in handy when we are hosting a Metasploit payload using one tunnel and exposing a Postgres server listening on the default port using other TCP tunnel. Now I am going to create four simultaneous tunnels and check whether they are working correctly or not. Let's see how we can host phishing pages. I am going to host Gmail separate username and password form. I will replace Apache default page with the phishing page. Clone the Gmail phishing page sample. Copy the contents of Gmail phishing folder to Apache's default directory. Index.html is default Apache page and index.php is our phishing page. Rename index.html so that people browse to index.php. We can host our page or file directly also, just add slash page or file name at the end of an JIROC URL. Give others write permission to logins.txt so that redirect.php can write credentials to logins.txt. Now let's see how we can exploit devices outside our network using Metasploit payloads. Start the Postgres server. Use ngrog to open a TCP tunnel. Ping the URL to get the IP or use this as it is as local host address for payload to establish reverse TCP connection to the listener. Now use MSF Venom to create a payload using TCP tunnels IP and port as local host and local port respectively.
move the payload to Apache's default directory to host it, as our HTTP tunnel is already opened. The URL to download payload will be ngrock URL slash payload name. Now start MSF console to set up a listener. Our Postgres server is already running and exposed to internet using the TCP tunnel. As soon as someone installs the payload we will get a Metasploit session. The payload will establish a reverse TCP connection using the NGROC TCP tunnel to the listener. You all must have wondered how to exploit devices outside your local network, the answer is port forwarding or tunneling. We can do it with or without router. Without router, ngrock is the best option. Ok, let's head to ngrock.com. Log in with Google or GitHub, or create a free account. It is available for many distros, both in 32 and 64-bit flavors. After downloading